Hey guys, take two. <laughs> so the last video I made, oh, see, and it's doing it again. Um, I don't know what this means. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna find out if I have audio or not. I don't, I don't know what's going on. Um, anywho, so. No crafting, really, tonight. I just want to show you guys some stuff. Um, kind of, you know, a couple project shares close to my heart hall. Um, so I'm going to start with this little guy. We made 170-ish of these. And they're cute little Santa ornaments. This one's kind of frumpy, which is why we kept him, because we didn't sew him correctly. And when I say we, I mean my husband because my husband was nice enough to sew them for me because I am terrified of the sewing machine and that stems from my mom from being a seamstress for so long when she when I was younger she used to work in this lady's like basement and they would take in orders and stuff and uh, my mom who's a retired like seamstress of 40 something years was working on um, like a, pl a leather Thing. I don't know. I don't know if she was like reupholstering something or what. I just remember seeing the leather and I remember my mom sewing and doing her thing and I was sitting on the floor by her and I was probably about three or four years old and I just remember hearing this blood curdling scream and I look up and my mom has got the sewing needle. It just went one, two, three, straight like, oh, and she was so lucky because it literally like got the edge of each finger. So she had like you know, a stitch here, two stitches here, another stitch here, or something like that. And it was so bad that I'm I'm literally still, to this day, terrified to even look at a sewing machine. I'm afraid it's, like, going to eat my fingers. So, anywho, um, the hubby went through and sewed them for me, and it was so awesome that he was willing to help me out. But we made them for, you know, the, um, the entire staff members of the school, and then for Jonah and Scarlett's class, because they only have one class where um, my older girls have six classes each with like 32 kids in there and way too many kids involved. So um, made those. We just finished these up. So I've been finally able to move on to my next project. We've been working on these since like Thanksgiving. So it took forever. Next projects are these. Now, for those of you who remember last year, we did mixed media canvases together for the entire family. And that was a lot of work. There's something rattling in there. Anywho, so I was thinking to myself, okay, I'll do this on the video. And then I realized I'm working with E6000, which takes forever to dry. So it wouldn't really work. But I did want to show you how I made them because I think that this would be a cute idea if somebody else wants to try them. Because I know right now, like the wine glasses are the rave. Um, I've come to realize that wine glasses are way too little for me. I don't do small things, apparently. I really like them, and I think they're really cute. I just don't... I can't process how to actually make it work. So, the bigger the better for me. So for these guys, what we did is we went to Joann's, and, um, we got wooden... these wooden circles that are like with all their wood pieces. Um, and at my joins, it's like in the very back of the store. So grabbed a whole bunch of these. And of course I painted them up, painted them white in the center. So, you know, kind of resembles the snow and, um, different colors for different people. So we've got red and black on that one. Um, and so we took these and then, so I'll just show you a couple little things that I have here for certain people that I'm making stuff for. And these are in the floral department. They're the smallest vases that I could find that are this shape. And I think they were only like $2.49 and then these guys are like 99 cents. And you pop them together and voila. Because I was going to do a mason jar too, but a mason jar was like the mouthpiece was too narrow for me. Does that make sense? Like I, I didn't feel like I could get enough in there to actually make like a little scene. So there's that one. But that's how I'm making those. And then, and of course, I've got San Francisco for one of my hubby's employees. We've got Green Bay, Go Pack Go. For those of you who don't know, I'm a huge Packers fan, so if my voice sounds really weird, it's because there was a lot of screaming involved today. 
and of course the Cardinals. I'm in Arizona, and my sister-in-law and brother-in-law love big Cardinal fans. So, um, yeah, so my voice is like, my throat feels really scratchy right now, because there was a lot of screaming involved today. I should not do videos on Sunday. That's the new rule I've come up with. At least not during football season, because I'm a little crazy. I'm one of those crazy people that, like, threatens to throw the remote at the TV if I'm not winning. So, yeah. Anywho, that's what I've been working on. And then this guy right here is the Close to My Heart planner um, that they have. It is from December 1st to December 31st. And I totally would have had this earlier for you guys, but we had a mishap. And of course it would happen to me, because that's just how my luck goes. Um, when I got sent the original kit, my papers were punched on the wrong side, so I had to wait for them to send me new ones, which was awesome. They totally replaced them, no big deal. And um, so I was just, I had to wait for those, and those came in yesterday or the day before, somewhere in there. So now I can share it with you. Um, so hopefully if anyone's interested in this planner kit because they are selling it as a unit it's the book the pages and this really cute roller stamp it's got to do due date shopping list menu payday don't forget no school birthday party vacation and then it's got little boxes that like you know if you stamp it this way instead of this way you can do like a little check boxes and then cute little hearts and I'd bring it up close for you guys to see it but I don't think you guys would see it because I really like the font yeah, I don't have that autofocus thing of a jiggy, but the font is really cute on it. Um, so, and then of course I just kind of did my own decorations and played with stickers and things like that. Um, I love the colors in this book. The purple, it's all very pastel. Um, this is kind of like a mint green, but not quite mint green. It's a little bit darker than a mint green, I want to say. And then of course the pink. And then these little cute cards I got from Walmart, actually. Um, I think they were $2.88 or $3.88, somewhere in there. And I loved every single one of them that I had to make them all fit. So I did. And I used a bunch of my washi tape. and Because uh, I haven't used that in a long time. And wanted to bust it out and start playing with it. But lots of cute little, you know, inspirational sayings that I liked. So stuck them all throughout the entire book. And then, of course, I put down stickers. Oh, and this washi. This washi is, I think it's $3.95 for, is it five yards? I knew I should have saved my little paper thingy, and I threw out my garbage earlier, so it's gone. I think it's five yards. I loved the pretty arrows. Can you guys see that? Pink, purple, that mint color, and then the black arrow. I'm so proud of myself. It's the very first washi tape I ever used start to finish. Like, the roll is gone. Had so much fun playing with it. And, um, oh yeah, see, you can kind of see the font there, the no school, the birthday. Whoops, don't hit the wire. Payday there, no school. I really like the font on it. So, started putting some washi in it, put some cute little stickers in there. It also comes with this little divider thingy, so you always know what day, which day to just kind of flip to. Um, and then down in this little corner, because you get a little bit of space here, I just put in my own little um, favorite quotes that I have found throughout the year. And so each week has a different quote. So, uh, like this one here, I live in a madhouse ruled by a tiny army that I made myself. Love it. And then each one has its own. They're, it's just so pretty. So my New Year's resolution, because, you know, there's no better day than today to start, is um, to make sure I actually use this thing. I, the last planner I bought, I spent three bucks, and I barely used it, and this one was a whole kit for, I think it's $29.95, and that's the most amount of money I've ever spent on a planner. So I'm kicking myself, because it needs to be used, and I need to make sure I'm a good girl about it. And I do what I gotta do to actually use it. And then very towards the very back here, you also get these stickers that come with it. And you get four sheets, which is more than enough. Which is awesome. Well, I mean, more than enough for me, because I don't really do that much. But and I, I know you guys can't really see them, but you can see the gold, the blue, the mint color. 
the pink and the purple, and it just, the whole palette's that way. Um, you get little presents, hearts in the gold, dollar signs and planes in the green, stars and arrows in the pink, alarm clocks and exclamation points in the purple, and then you get your little, you know, um, I don't know if you guys can see that, different size um, pieces there. With the cute little folder back here for whatever. And this one says love today, which I like that one. So yeah, um, I'll leave the link down below in case anyone is um, interested in this planner. The nice thing about it is that you don't actually have to use it just as a planner. They have extra um, little cute kits that are um, the picture my life projects. So you get the, um, you know, the inserts and then there's cute little cards that go in it, the two by two. Um, three by four, I think it is, and really, really super cute. So I'm going to save this, and then next year, if they come out with a new planner, like a kit like this, because I don't know if this is the first time they've done a kit like this, um, so if they do it again next year, if I don't like the book, per se, I can just get the Picture My Life pieces and make it into a cute little mini album. So, anywho, um, was that it for today? I have a feeling it's going to be a really short video. I think that's it. I was going to make one of these with you guys today, but oh, hey man, E6000 takes forever to dry. Forever to dry. Whoops. But I got all sorts of cute little... Okay, so I'll explain. Possibly. If I can find all my pieces. Maybe. Come off of there. What are you stuck on? Okay. You guys are going to look at these and go, what the F? What are you doing over there, lady? I'm sorry, I don't want to stick my head in the way. I'm trying not to. Okay, so there's those guys. And these guys. Man, I so miss crafting with you guys. I need to get my button gear and get it going again. And this one I just thought was really super duper pretty. My sister-in-law is like um, really into like Audrey Hepburn and it's something that we have totally in common but she looks so much better in those type of outfits and that type of hairdo than I do. She, I just think she's gorgeous. And uh, I saw this and it totally made me think of her. I got it from Hobby Lobby. It was 50% off. So it was $1.50. And I had to get it for her because I just thought it was super cute. Not that it's Audrey Hepburn, but it just kind of reminded me of the style. So, oh, and then I got these little lamp post things from Heidi Swap. They were 50% off, I think, last week. Sorry, guys. I think it was last week. Is that all the ornaments that I have? Quite possibly. Oh yeah, I got little spools just in case my little Christmas trees aren't tall enough to stand up high. So that way, you know, like these little guys, I can. I was gonna put ribbon around the spools and then stick these guys on top of the spools, just to share some ideas. Not, I'm sure I'm not the only one who's ever thought of those. I know I'm missing something. What am I missing? Oh, her bird. There we go. So this is my, she's like, again, red and black. She's totally my twin. My sister-in-law is who I'm talking about. I love red and black, and so does she. And I saw this bird at Hobby Lobby, and it is a red. Now, Cardinals fan, remind you, it is a red cardinal with black, red and black wings and red and black plaid for the top of the head. It helps if I show you, huh? And the wings. Is that not the cutest thing ever? I'm so excited. And this is going to go inside of this, but I have to curl up the tail to make it work. So it's going to look kind of like, like that, if I can show you. So, and this is actually her base that I'm using. So it's going to look something like that-ish. So that one's hers. So that's my sister-in-law's. And then her husband, 
is also a Cardinals fan, but he's not, you know, like a bird Cardinals fan. He's an actual Cardinals fan, so we got him the sled. We're going to lean that up against a couple trees. I thought that would be really cute. Um, his grandmother, it's so funny, she has no idea how it started, but somebody started collecting Eeyore for her, and that's actually Scarlett's nickname from when she was a baby, because um, her hair grew in like Eeyore's does. You know how he just has a little front flop of hair? That was Scarlett when she was like four months old. Um, she had no hair on the sides. She had a ponytail on the back like Eeyore does, and a little front flop. That was Scarlett. I'll just see if I can find a picture so I can show you guys, because that was her nickname for the longest time because of her hairstyle. But somebody apparently started collecting Eeyore for Grandma Annie, and she has no idea who or why or how it got started. So we're going to keep it going. And we got her Eeyore for her snow globe. My, he is my cousin. Um, I have to think, because it's all hubby's side of the family. Um, he really loves guitars, and who doesn't like Snoopy? I mean, really. Snoopy jamming out. So that one's his. And then this one is for his sister, my other cousin. She just turned 16, just got her driver's license, and we happened to find this ornament at the mall. I don't know if you guys can see it. Driver's license issued. It says her name, and then it's got 2015 on it with a little quirky, which I totally thought was super cute. So that one's for her. And then his, um, my father-in-law and his wife are really big, like Mickey, Disney fanatics. Like, you could ask his wife anything about Disney, Disneyland, Disney World, anything Disney, and she, like, knows the answer. It's crazy. These are for, I don't know which one I'm going to put in there. I might try to cram two in there and then just hand her the other two or save the other two for next year. I don't know yet, but my mother-in-law, Jason's uh, mom, it's actually his stepmom, but she's, uh, you know, the one who lives out here and I call her mom because she's just awesome sauce. Um, she's really into owls and I thought those were super duper cute. So I don't know which two I'm going to put in. I'm pretty sure it's going to be these two. I have a feeling. I have a feeling it's going to be these two. But I'm really liking the snowflakes. So I don't know yet. I'll, I'll try to show you guys before I send them off to their new homes. And then her husband. So my mother-in-law's husband I think they're married they're not married either way they've been together long enough he is an avid like goes to gun shows obsessed with guns loves them um they're like his stress relief because he's a trauma trauma one trauma one nurse am I saying that right I think it's trauma one anyway so this is what he does like on his days off he goes to the shooting range and in like Laughlin or something and just goes and relieves stress I guess um so this one's his because I didn't know what else to do for him so because he it's guns or books I couldn't really find a book to shove in there so that's what we went. And I actually found those at Hobby Lobby, too. And then these guys are for um, two of Jason's employees from work. He's doing uh, for his two managers that he has. One's a... Okay, so one is a 49ers fan. Like, that's it. He's 49ers. The other one is, like, I love every football team there is ever made. College ball, high school... As long as there's a football involved, she will watch the game. And I'm like, she doesn't have a team? He's like, no. So we didn't know what to do. So we thought, okay, you know what? She loves every team out there. We'll just give her our team so she'll remember who it came from. So we're, again, huge Packer fans. So I have, like, two done and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine more to go. Ten more to go because we actually have to find one more present and it's for my hubby's um aunt and uncle yes aunt and uncle they've been married geez i think 20 something years cutest couple ever and um it's actually her mom and dad and um they better not be watching this i highly doubt that they would but they better not be and if my cousins are watching it kyle and anya you better not say anything either just in case um, we thought it would be really cute to find a UCLA helmet, like so, because that's where they met 
was at UCLA, so they met in college, and they've been together ever since, and they are just amazing people. And um, so we thought it'd be really cute to get the helmet and then put in, like, the year that they met in their snow globe, just to make it kind of cute and sentimental for them. So, anywho, I think that's enough of me. 20 minutes has gone by. I've done nothing useful. <laughs> All right. I just miss talking to you guys and crafting and hanging out. So, I don't know if I'll be getting a crafty video up soon, because like I said, this just, as much as I wanted to do one, because the problem is that I, you have to go through and do the, whatever's on your base. You have to wait 24 hours and let that dry. And then you do your top piece because you don't want the, your, you know, your snow stuff to get stuck to the E6000 and then not go anywhere. So maybe I'll make some bases with you. We'll see. All right. Thanks for hanging out with me and, you know, listen to me ramble because that's what I do best. That's why we're all here hanging out, because I just talks a lot. But I missed you guys and just wanted to say hi and drop in and let y'all know I'm doing good. Still alive and kicking. I will hopefully, again, hopefully I'll be on here. I should be on here before Christmas, right? Yeah? Maybe? We'll find out. Alright, talk to you guys soon.